Hey guys, back for part two. Uh, just wanted to go sh go ahead and show you this knife. It's the Cold Steel Trailmaster with the stag handle. Uh, exclusive carbon B steel. Um, this was a limited run. It did not produce a whole lot. Uh, I don't know exactly how many. <clears throat> um, if you need to know, I could always contact my buddy and find out if he knows. Um, I never really actually researched it. Um, but I'll go ahead and open this up. Here's the sheath. Fairly well maintained. Um, there are some scuffs from rattling around as well as me taking this out and looking at it. Um, these two spots, uh, I don't know exactly where those came from. Um, all in all, still in very good quality condition. I could always take some uh, some leather lotion and make it look like it was brand new practically. There's that. Very well made sheath by the way. <clears throat> and here's the knife. Uh, this is always something that I suggest especially for fixed blades. One, never keep it inside of the sheath, uh, especially if it's leather. Um, leather will rust your blade if for those who do not know um, by keeping it inside of the leather it will rust your blade a lot quicker uh, especially if you're in a high humidity environment um, another thing that I suggest is that you keep your original plastic you keep your original paper sheath cardboard sheath and you store it in that manner um, it will kill, keep the blade uh, you know, fairly well protected from moving around, dings, um, other stuff like that, possibility of scratches, uh, you know, just that type of stuff. Because if you just go ahead and you stick this in here like this without any kind of protection and then you throw the sheath on top or you throw this on top of the sheath, the next time that you go to grab it, you could, you know, it could slip and slide around, you're going to end up damaging your sheath, you could hit that pin, scratch your blade. You know, pretty much anything. Um, so just a little bit of information for you if you want to go ahead and keep your fixed blades, you know, in good condition without the possibility of getting them scratched as well as rust. Um, I do keep this lubed uh, pretty well. Um, I take REM oil on it about once, about every three months or so. Um, I do live in Colorado. There, We have very low humidity, so... Um, just a little insight on that. It's a very dry state, so I don't really have to take as much care as a lot of other people do on knives. Um, just go ahead and give you a shot of some of the stamps here. Trailmaster Carbon V Steel. And Cold Steel. Get this to focus. Cold Steel Carbon V made in the USA. Let's go ahead and actually move these out of here because I realized something last night that my uh, camera likes to focus in on things that are behind as well as in front so it actually uh, will focus a little bit better without all of that. Um, go ahead and show you guys the blade. Do a little bit better, get up close, the grinds. That is not the greatest grinding in the world, um, but it's decent. Uh, you know, there's the, the finger guard, sorry. Kind of just a brain fart there. Um, that is a thick, thick slab of steel. Um, it is a full flat grind does have that little swedge up there um, does come to a nice sharpness it's not like cut you sharp but if you did ever have to use it in a defensive role you could do a back snap and I'm pretty sure that would cut somebody um, but this blade is mainly for outdoors in my circumstance it is a collector as you can see has a very large edge. Um, it is razor sharp. 
and there's the stag handles beautiful stag handles uh, the white still very well maintained um, there are no cracks in this handle whatsoever um, and as you can see right here on the brass finger guard right here um, there was a little bit of wax originally um, I believe that it was from cold steel because I don't think that my buddy in any way got any wax but it was a little green wax on there um, so any of you know uh, the people that do know you know that stuff just polishes right out brass doesn't brass tarnishes but it does not it doesn't really stain all that easily um, and you can always just buff it out pretty simply with uh, some brass polish or brass rub um, there's also a lot of other types of stuff out there that you could go ahead and get any kind of marks or um, anything else like that brass is definitely a top-notch um, material to use for any kind of knife um, that you know you want to take care of and that you want to polish up and shine and kind of keep as a collectors or something like that um, this puppy is mint uh, my buddy I don't know how many years he held on to this I have not done any kind of research on this knife whatsoever so I'm sorry I can't really help you guys out I just knew that as soon as I saw it that I wanted it um, and he gave me a good price on it uh, I have seen these go up on eBay they generally go for $250 which is what I pay for it um, and they're not in as mint condition as this one which I don't even know what that is because that blade has no chips this would focus so that was weird I might have just been a bad grind or something reflecting in the light um, but <clears throat> If you guys uh, ever think of you know getting into something that you just kind of want to collect, um, I do suggest that you get yourself something that has a nice stag handle or some other kind of really rare wood, real nice um, for a fixed blade. Uh, just because fixed blades do have a very high value later on down the road, um, somebody's going to want to purchase it. Um, I'll go ahead and give you some specs on this here. My nifty little special ruler type thing. Um, actual cutting edge is eight inches, eight and three quarters inches. Um, actual blade or full blade length is looks like almost nine and a half inches. Um, it is full tang. And then we'll go ahead and give you a handle. Handle is four and a half inches, almost four and three quarters, kind of in that area, depending upon where you look. It's four and a half on the bottom right here, and four and three quarters up to there. Um, let's go ahead and see if I can get this. This is just under a half inch. So. I don't know what that is in millimeters or but it is definitely I don't know if you guys can see that Let's see here there's the half inch right there or quarter inch sorry so let's see here one two three five sixteenths um I don't know I've I've thought about getting one of these because I do do a lot of camping um I've thought about getting one for just basic use as far as everybody has ever given a review on the um, trail masters is they are by far the best uh, blade to go with for outdoors and it's a very comfortable knife um, fits the hand well I love the stag the way that it gives you really I mean this stag just grips your hand I mean almost to the point where it could hurt you if you know you were gripping it way too tight I'm sure that this thing would definitely give you blisters if you were to use it under hard use in any way um, but it does feel really good in the hand once you put it into your hand I mean it just it locks in um, boy I'm out of time here so hope you guys have a good night